What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel. It's Sunday evening and we are doing a look ahead at what is coming on Monday, which is tomorrow. So firstly, we are going to get into this Showtime review of the J-League monthly MVPs. So this box, I've already kind of done a few bits and pieces with this in the live stream. If you missed any of my live streams, we do live stream Monday, Thursday and Friday. Uh, all going well. So these players, lads, are definitely super OP. I mean, this guy, Marcus Jr., unbelievable. We'll get into him in a second, but they are part of a 100 box player box or whatever you want to call it. And they're mixed in with a couple of these guys as well. But only the shiny ones here are the showtime. So these guys here have the boosted stats and the boosted levels. And this guy, Marcus Jr., who will start us off, he actually has a showtime um, skill, which is momentum dribbling, right? Uh, as you see there. And then he also has the technique. All of these players have the, ma the max booster technique effect, and which raises their stats from level one all the way up. When you get to level 39, it gives you a plus two for these stats with the little green globe, globe beside them or the green ball beside them, right? So we're going to be ready to go with these guys. We're going to take a look over on eFootballDB. But these are, you know, if you have a lot of coins and you're looking to get guaranteed game changers, these guys definitely are boosted beyond anything. I mean, it, it is kind of ridiculous, man, when you look at these cards. If you take a look at Marcus Jr. here, he's down as a creative playmaker. When you boost him up, right, you're going to be getting a plus two to all of these stats. Plus, you're also be going to be getting a plus two with the manager boost. I will be doing a video on that because a lot of people seem to be confused about that manager boost as well. So you potentially will be getting a plus four boost to any of these stats that you see here. Um... Or sorry, the dribbling stats, to, because he gets his technique, uh, that's not implemented into this eFootball DB yet, but you will be getting an absolute beast of a player. He's down as an attacker midfielder, insane quality, really, really nice balance, acceleration, offensive awareness, and then the dribbling, everything into the 90s. He's got brilliant player skills, and of course, he's got momentum dribbling. Now, he does not have one-touch pass, which is the only slight, I would say, on him, right? We also have Higuchi. So this guy is with Kashima Antlers. He goes 42 levels. Again, he's down as a right midfielder, but he can play attack midfielder. He's a 91 attack and midfielder, and he's got one touch pass. He's got double touch, scotch move, dipping shots, long range, first time shot, true pass, and way to pass. And he has double touch and cut behind turn, which I do like to see on this card as well. Now, he is going to be in a similar position as Marcus Jr., where he actually gets the boost for his finishing, his set piece taking, his curl and kicking power, which is the free kick taking. So again, you know what you're going to be getting with this guy when you train him up. He is kind of more of a shooter, right? So with that in mind, I always make the claim that uh, you should be, you know, kind of like, instead of trying to make the player something that they're not, if they're taking up a lot of points, you could actually just top up this guy really, really effectively and have a beastly free kick taker and somebody that's able to finish from attack a midfielder if you actually train him quite nicely, right? Um, first time is lovely with this guy as well. We also have Suzuki, who's down as a center back. This guy is really nice, really nimble, really good to play with as well. He's slight, but he's quite strong with the physical contact. He's going to be getting a boost to his stats as well as you see here. So eventually what they'll probably do, lads, is they will probably have be better boosters. Um, when this kind of wears off, you're going to have dueling here, right? We had Makalele had dueling as well, or dueling. Um, this guy's on unwavering form, on unwavering form, blocker, sliding, tackle, fighting, spirit, man marker, and hitting. He doesn't have interception, which is a bit of a bummer on this card, but everything else is brilliant on this card. And there is the booster that you're going to be getting a plus two to any of these stats. So when you train him up like this, with this here, even without the manager boost, you're going to be nearly at 99 with the manager boost, which is insane for a player like this. And then we also have the last one, Nakamura, who is down as a 30-year-old. He's on e-form today. Um, he's down as a whole player as well. Very nice card. He's got shooting as well with the max booster effect. So that's going to be finishing, ball control, kicking power and physical contact, which I think is probably the best one if you've got a center forward. He can play as an attacking midfielder. He does lose out a little bit with the player skills. But again, just to kind of look at a build that we have for him here, we'll do it in real time. You can actually see that you can train him up very nicely to be a brilliant attacking midfielder fielder if you want to train him that way and just have like as i said have him exactly where you want him to be every player doesn't need to be fast lads listen all the speed and stuff can kind of go out the window if you depend on position and the way that the players move right so that is kind of it they're thrown in with the rest of the players here as well as you see there's a couple of nice guys in here um but for these i would definitely say that marcus jr is completely broken um from having played with him he's an absolute beast so let me know what you guys think of that now looking ahead right looking ahead here we're going to have a look 
over on a football DB as to what is coming Monday, right? So this is kind of a preview. We did it last week and people liked it. So this is kind of what we're going to be seeing next week ne- from Monday. So we're going to have Kimmich, show him in it. We're going to have Bruno from Newcastle's, Newcastle squad. We're going to have Pellegrini. Rafa Silva, I think, could be an absolute demon. We'll have a closer look at him. We have Carlos Soler from uh, PSG. We have Till, who's an attacking midfielder. And we have Lundstram. So there's a very nice selection of cards here. We'll just take a look at a couple of these guys, not to go too hard in on them, because we will be having a look at them again. We also have added to the database Labotka, Bremer, Tomori, Milinkovic, Spinazola, Sommer, who could be a beast for us, uh, Darun, and Casale, right? And they're going to be part of an Italian League Selections Guardians, which are coming on the 2nd of October. So these guys are dropping on the 2nd. These guys are dropping on the, sec- on the 2nd of October based on this DB. So, you know, usually it's right. Um, and we also have these on the 2nd, which are going to be in with these box. So usually what they do now is they'll have a Showtime box with 150 players. And it'll be these three Showtime guys here, Moignan, Lorenzo, and DeMarco, left and right midfield, or right backs, and a goalkeeper. Um, and they'll be littered in with these Guardians, you know, or whatever they are littered in. So you'll have two selections to get for, right? So looking at these players here, I think that uh, there's some beasts here. So first up, we're going to preview Rafa Silva. Now, Rafa Silva, lads, is definitely one of my favorite players to use. He was down as a right wing or right midfielder in the last game, eFootball 23. And his base card, this guy, this right winger was down as a prolific winger. He's in as a whole player, right? So they've kind of changed his play style because he's playing a different role. And even if he does have only 29 levels from this card, his standard card is 33. And the way they've kind of measured these is these cards seem to be around 28, 29 levels now, right? Look at his card based off the rip, lads. He's got 87 acceleration, 84 speed and 82 dribbling with 79 balance, right? If you max this out, let's just say he has 29 levels and we are taking a look at his dribbling, we get that up to the 90 without the manager boost, you're going to have all them in the 90s with the manager boost there, dexterity is going to be the same, we're going to be able to max out that very, very nicely to have a 97 acceleration with just 10 into dexterity, and of course we're going to have 90 speed, now a lot of people are talking about speed versus acceleration with eFootball24, it has changed, I will do a video about it, and I'll show like I did with the destroyer versus anchorman, you seem to like that one, but on top of that lads, once you have a player stats like this, you're kind of thinking this is a winger's stats and a winger's ability right with the player skills he's got double touch he's got uh true passing he's got cut behind and turn soul control with 97 acceleration 90 balance 90 dribbling ball control and tight possession with the manager boost then you can kind of pick your poison where you want to put that do you want to put finishing on him get 80 finishing do you want a bit of passing to have 77 passing do you want to pop it in and have 83 passing it's a ridiculous card that's or else you could go even all out with the dribbling and just put that into the 95 type zone there so this is going to be a sick hole player absolutely incredible hole player Goes to a 96 as a winger with these stats if his card stays the same there. We also have Shua Mini. A lot of people are saying about Shua Mini. I don't think he left 36 levels. Obviously, these levels get updated when they... Uh, when they when they're added um but even if he had 30 levels right you're still looking at a beastly card because it's got better in every stat you you could that you could imagine here right will it be as good as some of the player of the week ones that they have released probably not but he's down as an anchor man which means that we're going to boost up his defensive capabilities as high as we can there we're also going to get that jump and physical contact fairly high we're going to have lower body we're going to have dexterity, we're going to have a bit of passing, we, we literally have everything on this card, lads, that we could possibly want to turn him into a monster, like, that is a beastly card, and that's at level 30, which he could go more than that, we also have Kimmich, Kimmich is always good, you know, his standard card is 23 levels, he's on A form, he's always in good form, he could be an absolute monster as well, I know a lot of people rave about Kimmich, he is a beast, I've played with him multiple times in multiple different versions of him, the Germany pack was a beast, um, this right back version was a beast, we also have Labotka, there was a free version of Labotka released, he was an absolute monster, Sommer, one of the best goalkeepers in the game, he has a base starting reflex stat of 86, which is incredible, now even if he goes to that 23 levels, I think he'll go more, that 23 levels, he has 2 on his overall rating, and he has minus, or he has plus 3 on this card for his reflexes, so you can actually, he's one of the only cards that you can actually max out his reflexes very, very simply, and still have all of these stats pretty much as high as you can possibly go, now, we do need to make a couple of changes to this card, because his jump, uh, he's a bit of a smaller goalkeeper, but I will do a build on him, and then the last player is the Showtime De Lorenzo, this guy looks insane as well, he will have a lot of levels to go because of the Showtime, his standard is 31, so I reckon he could have like 30 
35 levels to go. Even if you max him out with 29, you're going to have a very, very good, even though he's down as an offensive, you're going to have a very, very good, very, very strong physical and fast uh, right back that can do it all, really. And that can also play center back and play right mid. So it's a very interesting card. He's 94 as a center back there. And he's not that small. You might look at him and say, yeah, he's actually quite small, but he's quite decent as a center back if you're is your, your versatile one. So let me know what you guys think. I'll be back. That's just a little preview. Obviously, we will have as well the new um, players here. So I'll just give you a quick look at them. So based on the database here, it looks like we're going to be getting Zel Roberto, Sedarf, and Cambiaso. They're the ones that have been uploaded. Um, you have everybody else that here that has an asset or has a picture or whatever. They've already been released, starting with Messi. And then obviously we've had a couple of the other guys like Makalele, we've had Carlos, we've had Nesta. So these are the three boys, Zel Roberto, Sedarf, and Cambiaso. I will do a full review on them and a breakdown on them and training guides. We're going to have a lot of videos coming your way. But that is it for me. Until next time, lads, don't forget to subscribe if you're enjoying the channel, and I'll talk to you in a bit. Peace.